Thanks for joining us for ABC4 News at 10. I'm Emily Clark. In our top story tonight, Utah is home of making the impossible possible. NASA's OSIRIS-REx, the first ever U.S. mission to collect a sample from an asteroid returning to Earth today. ABC4's Annika Johns was on base today during the landing and collection of the sample. Today, history was made right here in Utah. After years of preparing and waiting, the OSIRIS-REx has made its delivery of the largest asteroid sample ever received here on Earth, right in our own backyard. Now today, we watched it enter Earth's atmosphere, touch down, and be taken back to base for its continued journey here on Earth. Impossible made possible. That's what this is all about. When we first were talking to, to our friends at Lockheed, it seemed like magic. Like they said, pick an asteroid, Dante, and we'll bring samples back to the Earth for you to study in your laboratory. <laughs> And I can tell you, this is the end of a very long spell. A journey seven years in the making, coming to a close as the capsule containing what scientists describe as a doorway into the past makes its way back to Earth. We just appreciate everyone coming along with us to celebrate NASA's first ever asteroid sample return. It has been incredible. Touching down at approximately 8.50 this morning, the OSIRIS-REx capsule containing half a pound of dust and rocks collected from the asteroid Bennu entered Earth's atmosphere, deployed its parachute, and touched down in the remote area of the Utah Test and Training Range. Seeing that parachute, seeing the capsule descending on the main parachute, and then seeing it just sitting perfectly on the desert floor, uh, just hard to articulate what that means after so, so much uh, put into this mission. While the collection process of this journey is over, this is only just the beginning for the OSIRIS-REx sample. We currently have a, a team of spacecraft engineers, scientists, and uh, curatorial personnel working right now in a temporary clean room here at Dugway to make the sample capsule ready for transport down to the Johnson Space Center so that we can open it up and reveal this treasure. Not only does this establish a path of legacy for generations to come, scientists say that this mission is a prime example of the beauty of humanity and what we can do together. It was just an amazing example of what people can do when we put aside our differences, we focus on a common goal, we can achieve great things. This country can achieve great things, but we have to work together to make that happen. The OSIRIS-REx is just beginning its journey. Just 20 minutes after it sent down the sample from Bennu, it was already on its second mission, now called OSIRIS-APEX. Now this will go to another asteroid and will take it about six years to get there as it makes its closest approach here to Earth. Reporting from the Dugway Proving Grounds, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.